had this uh, huge thing to become called Metallica. You get in, and then you get out. I had nothing to do with, with me. That had to do with everybody. We were all alcoholic. I've been doing martial art ever since I was a kid, and I beat James up because he kicked my dog. He kicked, he kicked my dog. I used to sell drugs. I'm telling you that the pot thing, in order for me to smoke pot, I sold it so I would be able to smoke it for free, right? I'm on stage. Somebody knows I'm on stage. So what do they do? They jump through my window, take all my drugs. I said, that's never going to happen again. So I got a dog. It was a dog more like an alligator with fur on it. It was a pit bull, right? So I took the pit bull up to rehearsal when I was in Metallica and it stuck its little teeny feet up on the car of the bass player. James kicked the dog. So I punched him in the face and, and that was the end of it. You know, and the bass player said, you know, it was a big argument. It's in the Metallica thing. You can check it out. Everybody says I kicked his dog. It ain't that way around. You know, I kicked his ass, but not his dog. He kicked my dog. And um, the thing was, is we all were such drunks. And when I got drunk, I got violent. When they got drunk, they got stupid. I can't even tell you how many times driving back from San Francisco when Metallica was just starting, Lars and James used to throw one of Ron McGovney's shoes out the back of the truck. He'd get home every time and he'd only have one fucking shoe left. Excuse my language, but you know, I mean, this is an emotional thing for me talking about this right now. And one time I watched one of them. I can't remember if Lars did it to James or James did it to Lars, but they were chewing some food and went and spit it into the other dude's mouth. That was the end for me. You know what? Those guys aren't birds. Erping up food into somebody else's mouth is a little too weird for me. So, um, you know, they had their own thing and they did stuff like that when they were drunk. When I got drunk, I liked to fight. I, I went into, you know, I've got three black belts. And, and when we went up to San Francisco, one time Lars went into this girl's bathroom that had all these pictures that was uh, beautiful pictures she'd collected over the years of all of these people that, musicians that had come in. And he took a beer and he went and squirted it over all of her pictures. And I thought, you little punk, I can't believe you did that. And then he stole a poster from her house and they blamed it on me. You know what, people don't necessarily know what's going on. And, and the thing is, it's like, I, I, you know, I, I, I like James. You know, Lars, I can take or leave. I mean, I think that the whole world kind of looks at it like that too. He's not a good drummer. He really isn't. Any good drummer will tell you that he's not. And, and th their success, you know what? A lot of it is based off of me. So, 